Well, the Wahoo Element was the first soccer computer that Wahoo brought out to compete with the, the Garmin high-end soccer computer products. And I had a bit of satisfaction with the Garmin products, but that's a whole nother video. But uh, what we want to talk about here is how well have these Wahoos stood up over time? And should you buy into their products? Are they well made? Are they not well made? Do they have problems? And what are those problems? So let's find out after you roll the intro. Wahoo again. Well, I am actually, but anyway. So I'm going to try and not keep this a, a pro Wahoo video and, and I'm going to be objective about how we review this Wahoo because what this really is, it's not like, oh, what are the technical specs? How does it compare with a Garmin? How does it compare to all of the different other brands or whatever? The only comparison I'm going to make with this one is to the new one because this actually is a model that's been discontinued by Wahoo and what X did you get by getting the new ones? But, but really what this review is about is how it's held up over time. Now, a lot of people talk about the specs and what features it can do, but you know, when you actually buy a product like this and you start using it, really what you want is you want it to be reliable. You want it to do what it says on the pack. And I must say, I have had, actually had other products like the Opposition products, and they don't, unfortunately. So that's what this review is gonna be about. And I just wanna cover a few things because some people have different features that they like in these sorts of things. And probably one of the, the features where it is lacking compared to the new one is mapping. The, the other features are exactly the same because it's the same software, but the, apparently the new Wahoo Roam has a different type of mapping system that gives you more accuracy. I think it might even download some of the information and in that little area and if you go off route, it gives you new routes and so forth. I'm not too sure, but it'd be best just to look up something like DC Runmaker. I know he did a very, very in-depth review on the new Wahoo Roam. But what I'm gonna be talking about today is if mapping is not the biggest feature in your cycle computer, then this could be the one for you. Well, first of all, let's just talk about the unit that I bought in January of 2017. So it, it's coming up to about four years old. And let's just talk about the use. The use is that I've used it most days. I use it for commuting and also for just general riding. I do more Ks on my bike than I do in my car, if that's sort of any indication. Now let's just actually inspect the unit. Now, if we look on the top here, we can see there's quite a few scratches. I don't know if you can pick those up in the light. Quite a few scratches across the top. The shine has pretty much been taken off. So the plastic has been worn considerably. The buttons here all work in good condition. The buttons here all work in good condition. And if we go around to the other button, the on and off button, this is all buttons in good condition. And let's just flip it over and we can see that the actual locking mechanism is well worn. And there's a few marks here as well, where I've been putting it on. You can see there, because I've been using it on Garmin, out front mounts, it clips the bolt there. So there's a bit of wear there. But yeah, it's, it's stood up to time pretty well. Well, one thing that I have found with the mapping, just before we move on to all the other features, is that the, the chevrons that they use on the Wahoo system, which is like a, it's like a sort of an angle thing that sits on top of the road that you actually have to follow, and there's quite a few of these, these chevrons. And what actually happens is, is that they work quite well, but when you go into a very dense type of part of the city, and you're turning left, turning right, turning left, turning right. The chevrons really hide the map underneath, so it can get a little bit difficult. But these things, sometimes you do get a little bit lost. But what I found is, is that, and I've used this in overseas in Southeast Asia, is yeah, you might go up the wrong road and everything like that, or it might send you up to a block street because you've taken the route from Kamut, and Kamut seems to, I don't know, seems to do that. Uh, roads actually don't go through, but they show they do. And you get stuck. But uh, apart from that, you, you can find your way around. You can you can get around. It doesn't work 100%, but you're not going to get you're not going to get completely lost and not know where you are. So it, it does work. You do make a few wrong turns, but you get where you want to go in the end, and you find the shops and the items that you're looking for. So the mapping does work on these older units. Now moving on moving on to the other features. Now the other features, as far as I'm aware, 
are identical. They're using exactly the same software. They download and the software updates, and not as frequent as they used to be. They used to be quite frequent when I first bought it, because this was, when I first bought this, it was, the Wahoo Element was a very new type of unit, and uh, then they brought out the Wahoo Bolt afterwards. But, so the features are exactly the same as far as normal, you know, pairing to your power meters, pairing to your Garmin radar, all that sort of stuff that they offer on the new units. So all that is is included in this older unit. Now the build quality of these has been very, very good. And this thing, there is, there apart from your normal scratches and wear and tear and everything like that, works 100% perfect. The only problem that I have seen with these, but not on this particular, but on the bolts, and I imagine it would be similar, and even on Garmin's, is this rubber piece here, which is which you turn the unit on and off. Now, uh, I've been actually quite careful and press it quite gently, so mine hasn't broken, because I've seen that they have broken on other people's units. The trick is not to use your nail. Do not do it with your nail. Do it with the soft part of your finger. You have to press a little bit harder, but it doesn't damage that rubber, because once that rubber is broken, your water seal function of the unit is gone, unfortunately. So that's the only thing that I know of, that I've heard of that's a problem with these Wahoos as far as hardware goes on the units. Well, as you can see here, this is a Garmin mount. Now, maybe not everyone knows, but you can fit Wahoos onto the older Garmin mounts. The ones need to have the two little bolts that you can see here. So you can undo them and you can turn the actual key system 90 degrees because if you don't, the Wahoo then will sit, it won't sit straight, it will sit sideways because it's, it's a 90 degree offset compared to the Garmin. So all you do is, is turn that key 90 degrees and Garmin made the old ones like this so I could use them on triathlon bars. I think the new Garmin's they've stopped doing it so, you, so they're not compatible with the Wahoo. But anyway, back on to using your Garmin, your old Garmin with your Wahoo and then what you'll find is is the actual little keys that fit in on the Wahoo, one side is slightly bigger than the other. So what you need to do is you need to trim one side of the Garmin so this fits in. And you'll actually see, if you try to fit it in, it'll be very, very tight. So what you do is you just cut off like a whisker, like half a millimetre, very, very small amount with a knife, like, like I'm showing you here. And then your Wahoo will fit into your Garmin. And let's just get the Wahoo. And let's just try it and see if it fits in this Garmin. Works 100%, guys. So you don't need to buy a Wahoo mount if you're buying a Wahoo or if you've got a number of bikes, you can still use your old Garmin mounts. So in conclusion, what can I say about the Wahoos? Well, from my experience, I bought the Element and I bought the Element because I was very frustrated with the Garmin. At the time, they were not as proven or well-known or well-used as they are now. But I'm really glad I took that jump, that leap of faith with Wahoo and the unit has, is outstanding. It just does what it says on the box. I mean, okay, mainly I just want to upload to Strava and use my power meter. I don't use the training cycles at all, and I don't use the mapping that much. But it has serviced me very, very well. As I said, this gets heavy, heavy use. I've dropped it a few times even, and it, it's just, it just keeps working. I, if the new units are as good as this, you can't go wrong with Wahoo. Really good product. So guys, if you're looking for a new cycling computer, uh, you have old Garmin mounts, you've come from a Garmin, you can make your Wahoos fit on, and the Wahoos are a fantastic product, Lenny from my experience anyway. Okay guys, keep riding.